Hey everybody, this is D Hunter, bringing another action figure review. Today, we're going to be looking at the Mafex Nightfall Batman, Night Crusader Batman. I pre ordered this guy at AmiAmi.com. If you're ordering your Mafex figure from Big Bad Toy Store or some other American website, you're probably paying far too much. I'll put a link in the description below. In the meantime, let's take a look at the packaging. As you can see, DC Batman Mafex. Night Crusader Batman. Here he is in the package. Looks like we have a bunch of heads, a bunch of hands, and some bat gadgets. One side of the package, Batman. Other side, Night Crusader Batman. This is the 215th figure of the Mafex line. At the back side, you can see Batman with a ton of different interchangeable parts and accessories and different looks. At the bottom, there is his barcode in case that helps anybody. So with no further ado, let's open him up. And I did end up getting three of these figures, one of which to keep unopened in my complete unopened Batman Related Action Figure Collection, and then one for the two different looks. I believe one has Neil Adams art, and one has Kelly Jones art, so I wanted to display both at the same time. Alright, now that this figure out of the package, here he is with all his accessories laid out. He comes with quite a bit of cool stuff. We have his display stand. He has a total of 10 alternate hands, totaling 12 interchangeable hands, 3 heads, 2 different capes, a different sort of neck piece for the cowl, and then he has his batarang with attached bat rope. Before we deload all that, let's talk about and check out the figure. I am very surprised this guy didn't come with a couple of batarangs and a grapnel launcher, but we have plenty of them from other releases. This figure has a couple of different artist sort of tones to him. It's not exactly specific, but one of his heads has a super long ears. And then we have this cape here with the pointy sort of shoulders. That screams Kelly Jones stylized art. And then we have sort of the normal head. Different cape, different shoulders. That kind of makes me think of sort of Neil Adams art. Maybe Jim Aparo. Looks like maybe a blend of some of the guys together. But that's why I wanted two of these guys. I thought one could be Kelly Jones and one could be the sort of more regular looking Batman from Nightfall. Sort of his look from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. So let's take a look. Starting with his head here, looks pretty good. He's got the semi-long ears, light blue cowl, white lenses on the eyes, stern face. He's got the weird sort of pointed cape on the shoulders, and that is a way the Batman is drawn a lot, but I prefer regular type shoulders. Outfit looks good, bunch of abs. Now the shoulders look horrible. Butterfly joints, I'm sure, go forward and back, but they look hideous right there. It's one thing Mayfix really needs to work on. The presentation on the shoulders. Some Batman figures cover up the cape. This one does not, and it just looks bad. Bat symbol of the chest, yellow oval. He's got the traditional capsule yellow utility belt. Look good. Looks like we have the Mayfix style double jointed elbows and knees. He's got a cloth cape with a bendy wire in the sides. And we have an alternate cape. Can't wait to check that out. And a closer look at his face and head sculpt. Looks like they sort of mix the two styles here. The shoulders screams Kelly Jones, very stylized, and the head looks a little bit more normal. Maybe sort of Bray Fogle. See a lot of different things here. Nightfall, Arkham Asylum. It all looks really good though. And here's the figure, broken down as far as he can go, with all of his removal parts detached. Now let's check out his accessories. And let's start off with the display stand. Here's the display stand. It comes in seven different pieces. When you put the three main parts of the stand together, you have sort of a flight stand. It's got a large base with three different places to plug the post into. And then you have the post here at the bottom. It can rotate, hinge down there, hinge in the middle, hinge near the top, rotation near the top, and then you have this clamp to hold your figure. Now check out his hands. He has a total of 12 of them, six right hands and six left hands. Here he is with his first pair of hands. These are his fists. And here's his second set of hands. It's a pair of fists with very small slits in them. I believe this could hold his cape and sort of drape it around him. And here he is with his third pair of hands. This is a pair of gripping hands with some pretty small grips. Would be perfect to hold a batarang. Maybe the batarang with his bat rope. Here's his fourth pair of hands. This is a pair of default hands. They would look good relaxed at his sides. Here's his fifth pair of hands. This is a pair of flat hands. And here's his sixth pair of hands. This is a pair of grabbing or choking hands, maybe throwing hands. Now let's look at his heads. 
He has a total of three of them. Two of them have sort of semi-long ears, normal expression. One has some really long ears, an angry expression that is definitely a Kelly Jones inspired head. And the last one has an oxygen mask or a rebreather. Here's his first head. To me, this looks like sort of Neil Adams art, but has a hint of a bunch of other artists in there as well. Not only do I see Neil Adams, but I see a hint of Bray Fogel and a Pero all sort of mixed together. And then his second head. This one has the angry expression and the super long ears. Definitely stylized like Kelly Jones. And here's his third head. This one has the Neil Adams style head with the rebreather on. Now let's check out his capes. He has two of them. They both have cloth soft goods. They both have wire in them. This one has sort of spikes on the shoulders. And this one is a little bit smoother. It looks like maybe this cape is a little bit longer, but this one's kind of bunched over the bottom, so it's hard to tell. Here he is with the first original cape he came with in the package. I personally think the sort of spiked shoulders go best with the super long ears of the Kelly Jones head. The cape is nice. Cloth soft goods. Wire on both sides. It can stretch out about this far. Looks pretty good. You can do stuff like sort of drape it over him. You can put the cape in a little piece and you can kind of hold it over him. Overall, seems like a very nice cape. Length is pretty appropriate. goes down to about his feet and it can stretch out pretty far. And it looks like the cape has a total of four bendy wires. We have one here, one here, and then there's two sort of in the middle to help take the cape, hold form, take shape. And here would be my preferred combination of the head and neck. We have the sort of Neil Adams, what I consider normal style head, and a normal style cape. Now it looks good. Biggest problem is going to be sort of the base of the cape here. Big gap above the shoulders. I can push them up as far as I can, but it just looks a little off there. If that was a little tighter here, shoulders look a little better where the butterfly thing was. This would be a solid release, and it still is, but this area leaves something to be desired. That being said, the cape is similar to the other one. It has a wire on both sides. It has a wire down the center. It stretches out pretty much equally as far. I prefer this one because of the normal shoulder pads. Batman is drawn that way with the stylized stuff a ton, but this makes a lot more sense. And here would be the last head and cape combination. This is a sort of Neil Adams head with the rebreather, and it has no cape because maybe if he was underwater, he'd take his cape off, be able to swim a little better. It has this extra sort of cowl piece here that has no cape attached. And that will leave us with one last accessory. This is his Batarang with attached bat rope. The bat rope is a bendy wire, so you can put it in any shape you want it to be in. I think that's a pretty cool feature. Here at Batman, hold that Batarang and bat rope. And that takes me to having the two fully assembled versions of the Mafex Nightfall Batman. On the left, we have the version I was most interested in. This is the Neil Adams, or the more regular looking version. And the right, the Kelly Jones version. But I found that it would be different enough that I wanted to have both of them on display at the same time. I much prefer what I consider the more normal look. I mean, much love for Kelly Jones. It's very stylized, very sort of dark, very sort of menacing. His art makes me think of Red Rain and things like that. But he did a lot of regular comics too. But this is the Batman. This is my Batman of the 90s. Hell, the 70s, the 80s. That traditional look. Now I wanted to check out the similarities and reuse between this Nightfall Batman and the Mafex Hush Batman. And there's a considerable amount of reuse. So, starting with the feet. I do believe everything is 100% the same. From the hips down. The legs, the knees, the boots, etc. The torso looks to be completely different. The forearms look to be different, at least the fins. The rest of that arm looks to be the same. You can see the same sort of line of the muscles there. So it looks like reuse the top part of the arms, all the legs, and then pretty much everything else seems to be different. The diaper piece looks to be the same, but the belt, the abs, the torso, the head, the cape, a lot of differences, but a lot of similarities as well. Now they've taken a pretty good look at both the figure and his accessories. Let's check out his height from bottom to the top of his head, standing at about 6.3 inches tall, which can translate to 16 centimeters. And if you go to the top of the ears, about 6.6 .6 inches tall. And now for his articulation. Starting with his head, of course, you can rotate from side to side. He can look up a pretty good amount, down as well. Can't tilt his head from one side to the other. 
shoulders on a ball joint goes out more than 90 degrees up down around all that good stuff he's got sort of drop down shoulders like hideous like this push them back up and they look fine it'll just help you with a range of motion he's got butterfly joints that go forward and back bicep cut below that double jointed elbows his wrists can rotate and it's going to be hinged in his torso he has a ball joint rotate around forward and back another one in his waist rotate around forward and back between the two very good range of motion in the torso area i get a little bit more out of the torso than the waist but if you push it too far back you can sort of expose a gap there legs completely does the splits at least pretty close ball joints drop down hips push them back up can rotate you go forward all the way back not much double jointed knees and then his ankle forward and back rotate tilt rock and of course to articulation here's a look at both the neil adams version of batman and the kelly jones version of batman both of which were present during the nightfall era in front of three trade paperbacks of nightfall nightfall the 90s one of my favorite batman stories now let's check them out next to some other action figures starting off with some other nightfall batman figures here's the mafex nightfall batman next to mattel's dc universe classics nightfall batman then next to the dc direct dc collectibles dc essentials nightfall batman and now next to the mcfarland dc multiverse nightfall batman of which they made three of the black and gray version, the blue and gray version, and then the best version, the San Diego Comic Con version. There is a fourth one McFarland is making, and that's the Battle Damage one in the Nightfall Batman vs. Bane 2 pack. That looks like an awesome figure. Here's a version of the Nightfall Batman from each of the companies Mattel, Mafex, DC Direct, and McFarland. Seems like all the companies out there want to make Azrael from Nightfall, but these are specifically the Bruce Wayne Batman figures. Now let's check him out, next to some other Mafex Batman figures. Here he is, next to the Mafex Azrael Batman armor, the only other Mafex Nightfall Batman so far. But there is an upcoming Bane, and that figure looks fantastic as well. Here's the Mafex Nightfall Batman, next to the Mafex Hush Batman. A couple of fairly modern incarnations of the blue and gray Batman. Both excellent figures, although I think the Hush one is a little bit overrated. Really liking this Nightfall one, except for the butterfly shoulders. And here he is. Next to the blue and gray, Dark Knight Returns, Mayfix Batman figure. Mayfix has done an excellent job with their comic releases. Dark Knight Returns, Hush, and now Nightfall. Then, next to the Christian Bale, Dark Knight Trilogy 3.0 Batman. And now, with the Mayfix, Ben Affleck, Justice League Batman. And here, with the Mayfix, Robert Pattinson Batman from The Batman. Then, next to a Mayfix animated, the new Batman Adventures Batman. Here's a look at seven different Mafex Batman figures, all from different source material, whether it be live action or comic, and each one they made many variations of, well, at least most of them. Here's this Mafex Nightfall Batman next to several Mafex Hush Batman villains, Harley Quinn, Joker, Hush, and Catwoman. Now, there are currently no Mafex Nightfall Batman rogues, but we have Bane upcoming, and I hope they give us a ton of rogues from Nightfall. Those are my favorite looks for the rogues, 90s, normal looks. And here he is, next to the Mafex Hush versions of Nightwing and Huntress. A couple of Batman sidekicks, they were both present during Nightfall, but in slightly different costumes. Word is, we're getting an upcoming Mafex Hush Tim Drake Robin, and he should fit in great next to this Nightfall Batman. Now let's check him out, next to some action figures from different various companies. So we can see how he fits in, both scale and style-wise, in case you want other challenge you can mix him with. Since he's a Mayfix figure, they're typically the 6-inch scale. I'm going to start off my comparisons with some of the smaller action figure lines I collect, and work my larger, and I'm going to include as many Batman figures as I can during these comparisons. Since we already checked him out next to a bunch of other Mayfix Batman figures, here he is next to some other Mayfix figures. In front of you are five different action figure lines, all from Mayfix toys, all 6-inch scale, and now, next to some Jazzwares Fortnite figures, and some SH Figure Arts Batman figures. Here's Batman, next to a burnt hot dog. And here he is, next to some Hasbro Marvel Legends, and some Mattel Batman figures. Then, with both some Jazzwares and Mattel wrestling figures. And now, with some Mezco and NECA Batman figures. Next, 
with some DC Direct and McFarlane Batman figures, and finally with some DST or Diamond Select toys and some Jack specific wrestling figures. So overall, I think it's a fantastic Mayfix Batman figure. I love the fact that you have the option of making it look like different artists, but if you only bought one figure, you have to choose which look you want to display. I thought, screw that, I want both looks for display. Now the figure looks fantastic in almost every way. Just those butterfly shoulders really bother the head of me, they look hideous. Beyond that, the figure is so close to perfect. A little smaller than I'd like, but it's a 6 inch scale figure, so that's what you'd expect. Sculpt and paint job, excellent. Articulation, very good. Accessories, a little bit on the small side, beyond the hands. The only bat gadget he comes with is the battering with the rope. But to offset that, you have different heads, different capes, different versions of artist portrayals. It all comes out really good. I'm trying to rate this figure. Very nice. The one I'm looking at right now, the Neil Adams Batman. That's my Batman right there. I want to give this guy probably an 8.5 out of 10. If the shoulders looked a little better, he'd probably get a 9. And if you prefer the stylized Kelly Jones look, you have that as well. But personally, I prefer the more sort of normal Neil Adams, Bray Fogel type Batman. So this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked the video, press like below. If you have anything you want to say about the video, add it to the comment section. If you want to see additional action figure reviews from me, press subscribe. I do appreciate when you do that. Once again, this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I will talk to you guys real soon.